ever been asked to put on a facade or uh, give a specific expression for the sake of your job? All of us have been there. It's one point or the other. How's it going, everyone? My name is Dave, and welcome to another Discussions and Rants video. If the beginning statement that I gave off doesn't give away what I'm going to be talking about, um, today I decided to talk about the idea of putting on a facade or a smile or whatever it might be for the sake of doing a job. Um, and basically my thoughts on that front. <sighs> However, before I continue on with this topic, I just want to ask you guys uh, to take this what I say with a grain of salt, it is just my own personal opinion. Uh, other people have different opinions on the matter, and I can understand why certain aspects go one way, certain aspects can go another. These are only my thoughts on it, um, and my reasonings for why I think this way. Please do not hate on it. Um, you're free to give your own personal opinion on your perspective of it in the comments below, but once again, I ask that you do not hate on my own opinion on this front. That said, going to continue on with this topic. Um, when it comes to facades or face, like it changes in expression for the sake of a job, I uh, personally don't like the idea because when people do that, you're not really presenting a true form so to speak. Um, what I mean by that is that... Like, let me give off an example to try to show off what kind of what I'm talking about. Um, say I work for, and this isn't the case, but say I work for Barnes & Noble, and I'm the guy at the register, uh, selling things, but I'm having, like, a bad day, I'm stressed out, but my manager's asking me to go smile for the customers or whatever. I won't do that, because it's not me, it's just, it, it's a farce, it's fake, it doesn't, it would it, it makes me seem, and this is from my perspective, not human. Anytime a manager or a higher-up has ever asked me, personally, to um, act one specific direct way, and it's not just me either, I've seen this happen to other people, it always rounds about to be that the manager expects you to do one specific, and not just manager, it's usually like a higher-up, uh, corporate or something like that. When they ask you to act one specific way and they expect that direct specific way, they're basically asking you to be a robot, and that's retarded. Um, now, if people were, now this is kind of the core reason why I personally hate putting on a facade while working. Um, and most of the time for me, it, I haven't, and it's gone just fine as far as reactions from my coworkers and my generic managers. Not general manager, I can't really say because I don't work with my general manager too often to actually say that. Um, but when it comes down to it, it's like, If someone were to ever, like, if I was having a bad day, and someone were to ask me to smile for the customers, or, um, don't look so glum, instead of, you know, asking what's wrong, first of all, that just makes the person look like a douche. And second of all, no. I would outright just say, no. Well, I wouldn't say that, but I would think it. I'm not going to change my attitude for the sake of making a company look good. Because that is, one, 
in inhuman? I think that's the term, inhuman. That is inhuman, and two, that's just outright lying for the sake of the company. Two big no-nos, in my opinion. And I won't do that. I've, in, in my past, I have worked for quite a few franchises and companies. All of them have been fast food, I'll say that much. Uh, well, okay, that's not true. I've worked for retail, I've worked fast food, and I've worked um, in just kind of generic services. Um, but one way or the other, it comes down to the one question. Do you, and this is more for a company's sake, not for the employee on their own. Anybody, for anybody, company, employee, manager, corporate, whatever it might be. Do you want the company that you own and or work for to be honest? Or to have a good first impression? I've met people who have tried to go along the path of, hey, look, I'm just going to try to make myself present myself in a good way. But the problem with doing that, and it's the same problem with why I'm talking about this, is that it doesn't work. People can see past that kind of facade, which is the generic word I'm going to use a lot in this because facade is kind of the main term that I like using for this particular uh, action. Facades are probably the worst way to present a company, in my mind. Here's an example. I'm not going to say who I'm talking about. It's not me, but I'm not going to say who I'm talking, who experienced this, I should say. And, um, like, I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm just not going to go too much into detail on the people themselves. Um, I had one of my very, very, very close friends at the time. This was um, a few months ago. More than that, I think, at this point. But one of my friends at the time, close, really close friends at the time, um, had been working for a retail company. I'm going to be very vague about this because I don't want to get in any particular aspect of like this in trouble. It's just an example um, using for like, reasoning why I say this, so I'm not going to get any companies in trouble, I'm not going to do anything like that. Um, but, either way, this particular company uh, hired some managers, at, maybe at the time when they hired them originally, they were good. They were good at what they did, they were kind-hearted about it, they did their job accurately, like, just so many things the managers should be. But over time, people change. And these particular managers that I'm referring to started acting in a way you really shouldn't, but the company, because the company was close to a couple of these managers, they were friends, they did nothing. Absolutely nothing. And eventually... My, this friend that I'm referring to started working for these people. Um, worked there for a while, left, and then went back, uh, working for them more often, and eventually came across these crap managers, which most places have, but there's the lucky few that don't. Um, but these particular managers expected specific things things out of um, this friend of mine that didn't make any sense whatsoever, including act this specific way for our customers. Say these specific phrases. If you say anything else, it doesn't work. That right there, my friends, is why I say wearing a facade is asinine and it makes you look robotic. It is retarded.
And yes, I'm doing this with my fingers, for those who didn't see it. I was kind of counting up the... I thought I was going to have more than two exam two statements, but I didn't. Either way, facades are retarded. I hate them. I don't ever plan on using them. I always plan on only being one thing, and that is myself. I honestly think everyone else in the world should be that way. Now, again, for those who disagree with me, that's fine. I don't understand your reasoning behind that, but to each their own. I'm not going to judge people for thinking otherwise. Maybe there are some people out there who have r direct reasons why people should have these facades on. Now, I mean, I guess I can see little itty-bitty circumstances where it would make sense. But gener g generically, yeah. Generally, those circumstances are when you're around idiot customers. Now, that phrase is being used very loosely. Uh, because I'm not going to go into detail on what I mean by idiot, because that is being presented in many several different ways. An idiot customer could be one thing to one person, and then another thing to a completely different person. But... I... I you don't want to... You, you would... Uh, that's like the only time where a facade would make sense, in my mind. That way you don't get into a deeper pit of trouble than what the customer, whatever kind of way they're acting, could already cause. That's like the only time where wearing a facade makes sense to me. But when people say put on a facade, when higher-ups or managers say it, it's not temporary. It's permanent. That's what I don't approve of, personally. I don't like it. Like, there was a point in time in the job that I had a few years ago where they had us say specific lines to the customers that were that we were with. Um, again, I'm not going to say what company it was or who I was working for who asked this kind of stuff of us. Quite frankly, I never knew who the core person asking of us was. So, I can't really answer that question anyway. But, they always asked us to say very direct, specific phrases. I never did it. And quite frankly, never got in trouble for it. Which, I mean, maybe sometimes when people say it, it's not like, we require this of you. Which, if that's the case for certain companies, then I applaud that. I applaud the effort to say, hey, say this. You don't have to say this, but I would really um, appreciate it if you did. That's not, like, the kind of thing I'm referring to. That's not the direct force of facade. Let's call it that. Let's, l let's change the topic from, rather than just wearing a facade, forcing a facade. Really, when it comes down to the whole facade situation, I'm just going to close up because I'm just going to end up going in circles at this point. Personally, in my own opinion, facades are idiotic. They're stupid. They, 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 they make no sense. Um, they're useless because people can always, if you're asking it, people to do it in a robotic way, people can always see through that, and it's pointless. Like, I've, I've had to experience that before, and just for the sake of not getting fired from the job I had at the time, this was years ago, by the way, um, I did it. But anybody could always see past that, and I'm like, yeah, and my brain would always go, yeah, I wish I didn't have to do this. I would ra much rather talk to someone rather than having to hide the fact that I'm upset, or depressed, or overwhelmed, or whatever it might be with going on in my life at the time. Nope. Never allowed. Just for the sake of the company. And it's annoying. It makes no sense. It's robotic. It's like everything I said before. Now, 
I'm not going to continuously go on a rant about this because I've already, I've basically gone in a circle at this point, but I do want to hear what you guys think about forced facades. Um, do you guys think that, do, do you guys agree with what I've said, like how they don't really make sense? Or do you guys have a different opinion? Let me know in the comments below. I'm actually very interested to hear what your thoughts are on it. Just once again, as I said at the beginning of this video, try to avoid any hate. Um, remember, just take this with a grain of salt. It's my own personal opinion. I do not hate on the fact that others think otherwise of what I say. I just don't personally like the aspects um, towards myself specifically and certain other people who've been my friends who've kind of had their minds destroyed in a manner of speaking because of it. So yeah, if you guys got any thoughts, let me know in the comments below. Got any suggestions for anything you'd like me to talk about? I actually do have another topic coming up uh, next week that was that, that actually came to my mind um, while watching one of well, while watching a live stream while watching the many ones I actually watch. Um, the idea came to mind. I still have to think through exactly what I'm going to say, even though it's not written down when I say these things. It is impromptu so to speak, but I want to at least collect my thoughts before talking about it. In the meantime, if you guys want to check out any other um, discussion and rants videos that I've done in the past, or I might be doing now, depending, de depending on when you see this video, I'll have a link to, this is something else, I'll have a link to that on this side of my head. Uh, if you want to check out any gameplays of anything I find nostalgic, you guys might find nostalgic, um, I'll go play this to one of my nostalgic games up over here. However, in the meantime, I'm heading out, but I'll see you guys later. Bye!